Yeah, Jamie. I just saw you on mute. <laughs> Get in here. Get Hi. In here. Hi, my love. How are you? Hey, good. Thank you. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me on. on. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm not a full-time coach either. Like Rosie was saying, I just made deputy chief at the fire department while I was in the volcano. So increasing my, my leadership skills and um, just going for it. And I am actually a full-time dog trainer, certified dog trainer. And I use my coaching skills because it's all about the person, really. It's not about the dog. The dog takes 30 seconds. It's done. <laughs> The human, 30 more minutes, and all of my coaching skills to get them to figure out how to train the dog, which is great. Um, while I was in the volcano, I took BizCraft and Coachery program. And um, and in retrospect, I, I just love it. It was such a huge growth for me in terms of coming from a, a rednecky in the world structured kind of background and just those woo woo parts of me came right to the surface and then some and so I was able to just embrace those parts of me that I haven't have haven't until then and now I'm able to do some amazing things in the energy realm um, justice dog healing justice little dog and and I wouldn't have even thought to to explore that before. I would have thought, oh no, that's that's just too woo woo. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but uh -huh. but now, bring it on, bring it on, and more, which is so so awesome. Uh, I'm not a very wordy person, so unless no, there's any questions, <laughs> unless there's oh, any questions, like, I'm... when did you start? When did you start in the volcano, Jamie? I'm trying to remember. Um, so I started with maybe like a gist challenge and then into erupt and flow sort mm -hmm. of three four years ago three or four years and, ago yeah yeah wow and, gosh yeah. I can't that. it's like on one hand it feels like it's it's like a blink of an eye and on the other hand it's like we've known you forever you know I know <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome yeah and then into magmas and into the gist challenges yeah. And then okay. into Jamie's before. literally done it all. Jamie's literally done it all. all the you, parts. <laughs> yeah, you've been on Lava Squad for Magma. You've attended Magmas. You've done the Foundations program. You've done Erupt and Flow, which was it, kind of like our our kind of like personal coaching program. Yep. Um, you've done all so many challenges. You've coached so many challenges now. How many challenges? What what number is this for you? I think it's three or four. And I and I think I'm just finished all of my um all of my criteria I need for the certifi certification part. Yay, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll send, I'll send that to support. Okay, great. To, to and then I'll give you your, I'll, then I'll give you your extra credit bonus assignments. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> I've been asking for an extra credit bonus assignment yeah. since about halfway through BizCraft and Coachery. I, I went all in, I burned the boats. I yeah. was just, let's do it. Jamie's like me. Jamie's like the Hermione Granger of the Volcano School of Biscraft and Coachery, where they were like, I want more. I want to keep learning. I'm all done. I've already read all the books. I've already done all these. I'm like, okay, wow. Um, literally everyone else, hundreds of people who've been through this program are like, slow down. It's too much. It's too much information. And Jamie's like, more, 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 more. Uh, yeah, just waterfall, fire hose me. Um, well, so just help me, just help me to actually read read better because i i come from dyslexia brain injury kind of brain oh, I had no idea. yeah yeah so i had never read a book until this that program never oh. not through high school not through wait, junior wait, high school wait. jess has <laughs> okay say more say more this is crazy i know right jess had this amazing kind of um, I don't know, they call them hacks, I guess, to help me learn to read. And and I actually did. I, I read the whole library of books that we were supposed to read for, for the whole program. It was I, awesome. I was I'm so I just figured that you were already like a massive voracious reader. And that's why you like were like, give me more, give me more. Not oh at all. God. Not that's at cool. all. 
So, all right. Yeah. So if you guys are wondering, lead coach Jess, you're saying it was Jess, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jess is, she has, she's got all the hacks, you know, yeah. she's got the, the neurodivergent ADHD autism hacks for mm-hmm. how to trick your brain, neurohack your brain into creating change. <clears throat> creating change in your life. And so she does that for all of her clients. She does it for our whole community. Um, she's such a portal into that world. Um, and in a beautiful way, she's, you know, she has overcome so much with her own diagnoses that, um, it's astounding what she's created for herself. And now hearing this too, it's like, wow, oh my God, I didn't even know that was a thing that she did too. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Super good. Super good. Yeah. Um, so you've opened up portals for yourself. So many portals. portals over the Huge. last three, four years in, in every department, it seems like. Amazing. I do this night work, I call it now, where I go out in the world in my, sort of in my sleep, in my sleep as you, and, and just do work in the energy field to improve, improve stuff out there. Wow. I love yeah. that. Yeah. It's amazing. So, all right. I think that has been probably one of the biggest, most, um, one of the biggest shifts I think I've seen in you over the years has been going from, I used to see you as having not as much confidence. You can, in yeah, areas. that too. Okay. In, in the woo areas, in the mm-hmm. coaching area, and all of that stuff, you didn't speak up as much. Although I could tell you were picking up on everything. You were learning a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, you didn't have as much confidence in, you know, being a leader in that area. You're a leader yeah. in the firehouse hundred yeah. percent, right? Yeah. Easy for you, right or with yeah. with dogs dog training yes. easy, easy. and easy. what I've seen is you really step into your shoes as an energy worker as a channel yeah. as a, yeah and step into that comfort level so what do you think it was can you remember a certain moment or a certain maybe it was like maybe after a certain magma or something like that where you really felt like okay I'm, I'm doing this I'm comfortable in this I'm going to start offering it to people and all of that. Do you remember when that shift happened and how it happened? The first niggling I got with it was when Jess said, was when it just said about her little dog, right? When her little, ah, oh, <laughs> when her little dog was paralyzed and I thought, I'm going to, I'm going to try to fix that. Yeah. And so I did. And the first night we got her to, to wag her little tail like like she had nothing from sort of the mid back down of movement or anything and yeah and just sent me a video videos in real time and it just gave me that confidence to just go forward and yeah. and do more sorry don't be sorry please heart opens eyes leak <laughs> Do you think that watching the magma miracles over and over and over again allowed you to believe that you could help create that? Yeah, kind of like why not? Let's yeah. just go for it. Like the little kid with What's the, the worst that can happen. And, What's the yeah, worst that can happen? I right? Like kind of embarrassed, right? I didn't even tell Jess I was doing it the first night. You didn't even yeah. tell her you were doing it. I didn't night. tell her, but then the second night I told her. And 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 yeah, just that just that going for it that like we like we did in magma and and not not holding back sure we can find a little kid a heart why not why not fix a little dog why not there's so much that we don't know dog too queenie queenie's dog was kind of in its end um weeks of life and experiencing a lot of pain and discomfort and she knew that she was gonna you know say goodbye to it pretty soon because it was an older dog her dog but you you went in and you did your thing and then you allowed her dog to kind of live in more comfort for the last few weeks of her life right that was amazing too and calmness yeah 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 so how, just how many, amazing how many dogs are this for now do you have a number uh i think it's 12 dogs and two dogs two. are easier <laughs> humans Two oh, people. Two yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. dogs are only easier because you believe because you're telling yourself they're easier, Jamie. So. Uh, probably, probably you're right. But my path in magma and the volcano, I wouldn't have even attempted it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And out of all of your accomplishments, out of everything you've done, I love that this is the what this is the thing that you feel 
the most inspired by, connected to, the most amazed. heartless by, amazed. and amazed by. It really yeah. is magical. Yeah, yeah, so good. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing. Thank you, Rosie. Sweet. Thank you. I know you have to go get a tray. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs>